Alrighty then, it is time for a quick recap here on where we're at in the contest and how we did today. And then it is out for date night. Happy Friday, everybody. Let's get into some of that good stuff. But before we do, do me a favor, smash that like button. And of course, those notifications. YouTube's got you, you got to do, do things now. You got to hit subscribe and the bell. Yeah, man, it's, it's annoying, but it is what it is. So um, let's come on down here and talk about some of our results and the contest and all that kind of good stuff. Let's do that right now. Alrighty then, let's come on down here and do this one quick. So it is Friday. We've got early in, early out stuff on Fridays. Normally one trade in the morning. I uh, had stuff going on here this morning with uh, some contractors on site to uh, do some work around the Hacienda and taking care of the kids and things, trying to get that going. So I traded the afternoon session, which is a little bit rare, but right now, think about what's going on. We've told you guys that right now we are doing, of course, it's the contest, so I gotta get in here and do some trading of some sort. And this is mainly for the educational components of this so that you guys can see what it is to go through and walking through each one. Hopefully you guys have found that helpful as we've been doing that. If we have, you know, drop me a comment down below. Let me know what you think about uh, the training that we've been doing through those trades. It's kind of difficult. You might've seen trying to flip through my different screens and you know if you guys have some tips on what you guys would like to see on how we do that um, as especially if we're kind of doing it through this contest so I'm really hoping you guys have found that helpful and of course don't forget to follow us over here on Facebook and of course here Instagram where all the real fun is happening and uh, here on YouTube of course now uh, the five trades so important if you guys have been understanding that that vision boarding component of making sure again playing a, if you're going to approach the markets like a video game you've got to have boundaries you've got to have limitations this is the game you need to find out how much you can do how well you can uh, execute in a given time window and or 60 to 90 minutes right so we want to maximize what we're doing there i cannot iterate enough how important it is to make sure that you're tracking through on those five or six trades per session. A lot of people keep getting confused, like Vinny, does that mean per day? It depends. You can trade up to two sessions in a day. As long as you've got a long break in the middle, I recommend at least two and a half hours of break. So first session, two and a half hour break, do whatever it is that you wanna do in life, working out, doing your job, taking care of your family, friends, etc. Then coming back for another session, concentrated 60 to 90 minutes, getting after the game, hitting it, getting it, and tracking through five trades, trying to increase size as you move up. And that does two things, whether you are on the win side of it or if you're on the lose side of it, increasing that contract through the five trades to get yourself to that is gonna be important. Now, it doesn't mean you absolutely have to do that, but you need to have the mindset that we are increasing size to get to that fifth trade. Really those final two trades are always key, which kind of gives you that psychological barrier, like you're getting one, two, three, uh, you know, the first three trades, you're feeling out how the market speed is. Again, every day, you really cannot tell. Everybody's always like, oh, well, in a volatile market, you do X. Well, <laughs> X, Y, or Z. Now, the thing is, is you can't determine what the market is doing at any given moment, which is what I've taught you guys. You That is completely random. People say that the market is random. That's not true. The market is not random, but any given day, the speed or when the market is going to move, that is random. We cannot tell when or where that is going to be. There are things that might give us um, some insights as to, you know, well, we got a pretty good idea that, okay, you can start with that to go, pretty good idea that the market's going to be fast right now. Why right now? Particularly is these weeks, we are coming into earnings report season right here in the middle of the summer, but uh, the big guys are going to be reporting soon. You got the FANG stocks coming up next week and the volatility is already kicking in, as I told you guys it would here for this two week window. So we know we got the extra speed. So sorry, all of that to be said, it's Friday and normally Friday's gonna have a certain personality to it, but now we've got that extra V. What is that? That's that volatility, extra volatility coming in with the earnings report season coming in and it's Friday. So trading the afternoon is not as difficult a chore and I don't have to necessarily be concerned with my early in, early out. We have those rules there. So if you type into our room, exclamation mark Friday, Okay, our rules pop up into our chat and everybody in our crew you know, knows these things. I really wanna be done before 10 a.m. Typically on your typical Friday. Is today a typical Friday? No, right? Today is gonna to be one of those days where we've got that extra volatility. So plenty of setups and opportunities are coming in. Now, the other thing though about Fridays, I, if you're like me, I kinda of like end of the week. I wanna kinda of wrap things up, do things with family. So for myself, like I said, I wanna kinda of get out of here. It's date night for us. So I'm gonna go come in here, do this quick recap with you guys. 
and send it off. Uh, my wife is so lovely and amazing and, and patient with us being able to go ahead and you know she knows we're doing this contest we've got going on here. And so you guys smash that like button for her too and uh, <laughs> say say thanks uh, for, for taking uh, some extra time here because uh, we're, we're gonna be starting uh, date night activities here a little bit later. Okay, so let's get into it here. We had an amazing, <laughs> people are talking about our insane setup from today. Yeah, this was absolutely outstanding. Really want you guys to go and watch the video today. Again, pretty pretty short one still was a short session. Um, I believe it was about 40 minutes. And some of that, I think I even took a phone call in the middle of that one. That's that's the crazy thing about, you know, about life when you're where it's like, well, if anyone wants to stream every day. And again, we've got we've got a lot of conversations around that. We'll do a whole video uh, session around that at the end of this. But look at this beautiful trade setup that came in right here. You'll want to watch this live in action. I'm not going to be able to, to go and do that right now because I got to get going here today. But go check this one out in that live streamed session so you can see that in real time. That was uh, an amazing setup going on right there. And you know, it wasn't all wins. You know, first, I think the first two trades were small losses and then we killed it. Man, our members though, absolutely stunning. Thousand bucks for Cohen, 77% profitable. Profit factor 3.38, loving seeing that. <laughs> my, my trolls, um, gotta love that. Sorry, let's go through some more results here. Curtis G, 2115, loving it, beat me. Let's see how many people beat me today. I bet you we, we had some folks that did. Oh, is that 4,700? Holy shnikes, Dr. Phenom throwing down 4,700. Adam Smasher, 1,200. 34%. Okay, so that, I want to I point this out here on the percentages. This is why, folks, percentages are not everything. If this Adam is so good at closing out trades quickly, he, he will get into, you know, a lot. He will maximize what he's doing with any given big trade. So here it comes. Look at that profit factor, 1.6. So when you when your trade size winners are larger than your losers, this is what happens. He's still at 1,200. So everybody's like, oh, 34% profit. Well, that sucks. <laughs> Everybody thinks about 50-50. They think heads, tails. Uh, but if your losses are small and your gains are big, this is the key to what we do. Again, look at that max drawdown, very small. And then boom, 1,200. That's amazing. Amazing work there. Not really typical. Most of our members are a little more picky choosy about what they do. Um, Adam you know, has, a, has a different little trade style that he takes from his from his repetitions. Um, 645, that's awesome. 71% profitable, profit factor 2.43. Again, I always focus on that profit factor. I think that's the most important point to execute edge over a long period of time. Jeremiah, how do he do here today? 651, 81% profitable, profit factor two. Uh, man, just amazing work from our crew. I mean, just you guys are, are smashing it. So let's look at my results here, um, I know you guys probably came to take a look at mine, which is fine. Uh, but, you know, I think the biggest brag board for me is watching our students crush it. I think it's just amazing. You guys are doing amazing work here. Um, I'm less impressed with myself than what I am my crew. 85% um, profitable. You know, this is what people, this is like the, oh, yeah, man, that's what I want. Well, what if, what if my winners, okay, were infinitesimally small compared to my giant drawdowns, AKA places like Day Trader Paradise that Martingale and other stuff and then blow out accounts, but then they keep showing you, well, but I'm 60% profitable. Yeah, but your, your drawdowns are so stupid high, it's ridiculous. Um, but that's a high percentage here today. Um, we had profit factor 17, meaning my winners today were 17 times the size of my losers. And that's why I said that we caught that real big one that really kind of, you know, skews the stats for today. So we'll look at the whole thing for the trading contest here over the last two weeks that we've been running the contest here in just a moment. But for today, um, there are stats and not a whole lot left to see on that. So let's go and take a peek at something more fun. So where are we at in the trading contest now? So over the full two weeks since Ross originally uh, announced doing the trading um, competition with the little challenge that he's putting out there to go, okay, small account challenge, um, you know, he did a reset on Monday, so we'll show the reset as well. But I think, you know, he also, he didn't really reset. He didn't reset the account back to start. So if you guys want to follow that, you know, go look what he's talking about where he reset on Monday, but he still got the same account size. He just stopped using leverage is what, <laughs> what I think you should say. Um, but then we saw that it looked like he still did use my leverage on, on Tuesday. So who knows? I don't, I don't know how I've, I've lost the plot on that one, uh, but we're just here to go, hey, you know what? He 
He's doing a small account challenge. We'll take the opportunity to go ahead and do the small account and, and walk it through. So 64% profitable for the entire contest so far. 2.3 profit factor. Those are the two combinations that really kind of get you there. And I still, again, always a big proponent of focusing on that profit factor. That is that is huge. And I know I beat that dead horse all the time. You're like, Remy, I know, profit factor, profit. But the, there are new folks who come along here on occasion. So we're up uh, 11K on... Uh, in two weeks, not too bad here. Let me look through stats. Average time in market, so about three minutes per trade. I think that's a, another nice little stat to know. Like how long? How long are you having to, you know, wait out for the trade in general? You know, three three minutes is our average over the two weeks here. Let's look at some more stats and analysis on that. All right, analysis. Um, yeah, this would be helpful. So. This did, people have said, uh, Vinny, does that mean you started out with uh, 2,500 so your account is at 11,000? No, so this is 11,000 profit over the 2,500 that we started with. It just is really weird. On the first day, we hit a pretty big trade. I think it was 2,300. So on this um, scale of graph, this is showing 2,500. Somebody's like, oh, this is his account size. So his account is at 11,000. No, this is 11,000 profits plus the 2,500, this is net cumulative profit, not my account. Okay, so in case anybody's asking about that. Um, we haven't had any red days yet. So, you know, knock on wood, I'm sure they'll come. Um, but yeah, we'll just keep plugging on. And so let's look at some more stats here on, on that. Uh, max drawdown, so on the seventh, we had the biggest drawdown that day. That was FOMC day right there. Um, so let's look at half hour. Let's see what time of day we're doing well so far. Uh, an important stat for you to kind of know. Let's look at entry times for breakdown. So that right there, let's look at that. What was that one? That was that FOMC day drawdown. That was kind of that um, biggest drawdown take here. Let's go and look at this over the cumulative net profit on day over day. Everybody always likes to see net profit over those days so that's the, that's the weekend so what was our biggest day that was the sixth and the seventh was our toughest day this was the fomc day after fourth of july um we had about i think this was a two thousand dollar drawdown on this day let's look at the max drawdown on that so literally you know what's interesting i want you to pay attention here my biggest and worst days were back to back Folks, this can happen a lot. You have to be very careful. I talk about this in our training about windfall days. If you have a windfall day, be very, very careful the next day. You come in a little bit overconfident. There's all things psychologically it's working against you and the market can shift also. And also it's a technical thing. It's not all psycholo psychological, but the reason that this happens, it's almost like the trifecta. You get two things going against you. You get the boost of that extra confidence and the greed kicking in. And then the market also shifting on you um, typically can happen back to back. And you know, even for my own stats, again, you can see it right here, back to back days of biggest day, worst day. Isn't that interesting? Even, uh, even in a two week batch window, this is not a lot of time to look at here. So again, we'll continue to, to grow that and we'll, we'll show some more on that. Uh, max drawdown, so there it is. Look at that big beast of a drawdown there. That was that 2K drawdown and right after my biggest day. So biggest day and then worst day, almost back to back. Again, I, you know, I don't remember consciously thinking because I really that didn't feel like a really big day to me, but I should have noted that. That was literally my biggest day, kicking off the gates there. Of course, it came after the July 4th weekend, so you had the day off the day after. Got that extra boost and was a very easy day. Then it was followed, though, by a very difficult day there with the FOMC event. And this was a 2 o'clock where I kind of got hung up there and then got the end of the day, got back into positive. And so we'll kind of show you go watch that video. I think it's a good day to watch is that that drawdown and then that comeback. It was a good it was a good day to watch. I think you guys will learn a lot from that. I think you learn a lot from all of them, really. But that one in particularly um, on that max drawdown. All right. So let's look at things by half hour. Uh, I like to break them down by the half hour. So a lot of people, some people will do by by hour. But let's see if that. Yeah. See, then you miss stuff. That's why I like the half hour. So you know, within an hour we had gotten back on that one, but then that kind of hides the um, 
the internals, right? So you want to want to do that. Select that to half hour, so you can see where you know where things are at. So again, not a huge batch of data as we continue to run through our small account. This will be more and more useful. Again, when I talk to you guys about our automated systems, this is even more important to really analyze what's going on with especially your time of days. So you'll notice no trades here. 10:10 10, 10 to 10:30, sit on hands. Yes, right. If I see, if I see your stats in our group and I see trades here at 10, 10, 10, 30, folks, like I don't think it's going to be good. It's probably going to be red. <laughs> okay, um, you guys know what's going on there at that time of day. We've talked about that in our training program. So doing good here, not trading in the bad spot. Also not trading during this zone right here. Running lunch bot. Okay, if you want to run lunch bot during the lunch hour, then great. Again, that's fully automated. If you guys have our system, you can use that. That is uh, that comes included and yes it's in the two-week free trial for now um, again gold is going away after the summer is our last chance to to kind of do that with um with the, with the crew with everybody out there that's kind of come through our program um you know the gold stuff is going away after the summertime but we're super excited to be able to offer what we're currently doing with that and it does include the lunch bot but it will not in the future after the summertime so just keep that as a note and we'll be adding one last robot for everybody who's been with me for forever we're going to add another bot um, from the platinum pack into the gold members who are currently with us or anybody who's joining here during that summer. And then and then that'll go away and that will be completely separate and platinum members only. Okay, so back to backs, coming back. Is there any stat we wanna look at here? So it looks like my end of day, I'm doing really, really well. Again, I'm not surprised by this at all. You know, with my history just in, I've told you guys before, I really like trading the afternoon. There is something to me about being able to see what's occurred that day and being able to now determine, okay, well, what kind of day is this, right? When you, I feel like when you wake up in the morning, you're literally starting from, dude, you don't know what map you're on. It's like playing a video game where you're like, I'm not sure what map I'm gonna go play and then you're just thrown in and you're trying to figure out, but they won't, maybe it's like, it won't show you the whole map or you don't know what map you're on. It, that's how you're kind of approaching the markets every day. There, you need to have good mechanics, you need to be great at the game and you know how to execute when you're in certain scenarios but you don't know what's a map. It's a new map every day. Now, some of the maps are very similar, right? And so you will get used to like, oh, this must be Caspian border style map, or, oh, this must be Verdansk, for those, some of you guys who are Call of Duty players, right? Like you kind of you kind of know, but imagine that that map was j different every single day. And so you're always having to figure out where players are or where things are gonna come at you. But what you've gotta be good at is mechanics, flipping over and ta 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 taking your shot, flipping over, ta 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 choosing the right weapon for the right scenario, for the right distance, all of those type of things that we're gonna react to as we're executing on our system. All right, so I'm making end up uh, running this into a longer video, but again, just hit, hitting on that I can tell when my best time of day is, and it's not surprising that I see that there. I almost think that this might even be an anomaly. I think this this came from the first day of the competition coming right in there, um, and, you know, smashing it on that first day. Almost skews it. I don't think that my mornings are as good as my afternoons in general and overall. So this isn't again when we increase the sample size as we go forward. I also was kind of forcing myself to take morning trades with you guys um, during this little trading contest thing and you know, um, having, having my wife and kids kind of adjust their schedules so that I can do that. Usually I adjust mine, the beautiful flexibility that we have being able to be traders. So uh, what I think that's pretty close to wrapping up our stats for what we want to look at there. Hour of day, day of week maybe. Nah, I mean, again, we would need, we need more weeks of data before this is going to become uh, a helpful stat. That's where we'll leave it there. Um, so if you guys got questions, pop them down there in the chat box. Come hang out in our Discord chat. If you want to download the two-week free trial, of course, you can hit that and then start to practice over the weekends. Uh, some of you guys who are new trying to figure out, like, well, where do you start? Uh, go over here to our webpage. I'll show you right where you want to get into some training. If you want to get some good, solid training in over the weekend, right here on the strategy training video library, click right here and go through these six videos. You will literally learn, you can learn six strategies over the weekend right now. Just go watch these six right here. You'll literally know exactly what we're talking about, how to execute and click on those clicking heads. <laughs> As they say in the, in the video game language, we can just you know click on some heads. Literally one of them is called the headshot trade. That one's right there. And then go on to lesson library two. Some people don't know what that button's down there. Maybe I could, <laughs> maybe we can adjust this to make this clear in the future. But for now, yeah, they to, to flip to the next library, go to the very bottom. Go through those. When you get to library number three, this is where the core and the meat is. If you're trying to figure out how things work around here, what we do, this is a great place to go and check out. These are longer videos. So again, I mean, if you think I'm long-winded right now on a, on a it was supposed to be a short video, I apologize. But 
These are really go in depth and in detail. You you want to take notes as you're going through these, but this will explain kind of our program, the 120 days. Uh, somebody came today and said, well, what do I do as a full-time person? They said, 120 days sounds like a long time. And I'm like, <laughs> any trader who's like, dude, I wish I could have learned trading in 120 days, right? Yes, it's actually a very short window of time, but you know, people who have never traded, you can always tell when they say things you know, like that. But if you're a full-time person who's working full-time and you're like, well, how do I, how do I do this? The 120 days is the first 40 days is you watching videos at your leisure. And the 40 days is an estimate. If you watched one or two videos a day, it will take you approximately you know, 40 days to complete our training program, watching through all of our videos. Again, all of our premium videos are not out here on the website, although we do have 30 of those videos on the website right here where you're going through five libraries. So all the way through library five, this is the last one here. We don't have anything past um, library five right now, but we will probably maybe add some more on that. I've been this way for quite some time. I think this is a solid pack. If somebody's trying to come through and go, hey, how does the system work? You can learn our system in that two week time period. If you're doing a two week free trial, you will know by the end of these 30 videos on our website, how everything works and feel comfortable and confident whether or not you want to you know, trade our style and be part of our crew or not. So if you guys got questions around any of that, of course you can pop them in the chat box there, but that is how you want to go through things and study. I recommend doing it like this. Watch a video, practice the video, watch a video, practice what you learned in that video in market replay. If you don't know about how market replay works, go watch a Ninja Trader market replay video. It's very, very simple. You can literally just download the data. If you already have a data feed, cause you're already a futures trader, even simpler because you can now with Ninja Trader 8 use historical data that's already on your computer and you literally just go play. Like you want to trade Monday, like what happened last Monday, click on Monday, click play, boom. And literally you'll go tick by tick. The market will come at you. You can run it up to, you know, 500 X speed. And then of course there is one that says, you know, it can go as fast as your computer can go, which really should just be used to advance yourself to like, you know, move yourself to what time of day you want to trade. So practice the morning session, fast forward, boom, morning session, trade it again, one hour, practice it, boom, go to the next one. And you can play it at higher speed. That's what's awesome about this too. If you're trading at 10X speed in market replay, 10X means that you can get 10 days in, in the time that it takes somebody to do one. Do you understand that? And then with our system, because we only trade for one hour or 90 minutes on each session, it is the trifecta. These are the pieces of the edge that we have with Algobox. Hope you guys enjoyed that. I will catch you guys on Monday. I may do a, a video release this weekend on the the crazy gurus that are out there. This next one, Day Trader Paradise. Man, oh man, they um, brainwashing machines over there. We will uh, we'll continue to, to release that for folks so that they can help themselves to know places to avoid. I will catch you guys on the flip side. For me, Pippi, Robbie, Lunchbot, Mosquad, Curtis G, and the rest of the game. Let's send out that big H town. See ya! In a world of scammers and shammers, there arose one demigod to wreck them all, making trading great again.